People often ask, what do I mean by multi-species? And here, these are all different dandelions or hawkweeds. They're in the same sort of family. They're also in the family of the sunflowers. But you can see all the different kinds we have here. This is just a few minutes walking around and picking the different kinds. So what you can look for is the different ways that they have their points or serrated edges. The different, um, how deep the, the wells are between the serrations. Or this oval shape with the serrations here. Or these teeth, how big and sharp or long the leaves are. Now, length of leaf can also mean one area is more fertile than the other. So these two, um, you could think are the same, but if you look at the serration on the leaves, they're different. Let's see if I can get this right. You see that these, these ones point downwards, these go out. This is another one that you could confuse with this one over here. Let me move this out of the way for comparison. But if you see, this is oval at the top and all the way down with very small serrations. This is oval at the top and starts having more serrations and it narrows too. So then you have leaves like this, you could compare, see those uh, spikes face downwards and those ones, but look, that's a very uh, whitey yellow center line and this has a pinky one. So these are all different and then these are smaller variations and here this is a very oval dandelion hawkweed uh, member of the family and this is a very skinny one as well. This one has a very small flower on lots of little um, branches and this one is as well. So these would be closely related if you looked at the flowers but you look at their leaves and they're very very different. So this is what multiple species looks like and this is purely in the family of the dandelion or hawkweed which is also kind of the sunflower family. So you can see these are all different variations of the family. It's kind of like if you have, diff you have sheep and then you have different breeds of sheep, or you have cows and you have different breeds of cows, or you have dogs and you have different breeds of dogs. So there's many varieties. Are you being helpful there? You're a good girl. Yes, now all the dogs have been being very helpful here. And the big fellas just arrived on the scene to see what we're all talking about. But that's what multi-species are all about, is diversity of species. And the more diversity you have, the healthier the biodiversity is. It's like I've got a very healthy pack of dogs, all of different kinds of breeding, mixes, mutts, and all very healthy partially because they're all mixtures. Well, actually, those two aren't mixtures. They're both uh, purebred German Shepherds of East German breeding, not the Western version from show rings. So otherwise, everything else here is a very healthy mixture. Oh, and this, I, I don't know what this is called. I'm sure it has a name and somebody will know what it is, but this smells Heavenly. I cannot tell you how delicious it is, particularly in the evening, walking past this bush. Absolute heaven is this bush.